Jean-Jacques Quisquarter uh, is speaking. He's an uh, MS professor at the University of uh, Louvain-la-Neuve about uh, cryptography and uh, security. In the 70s, uh, he was first working for s about smart cards and their uh, security. He then uh, designed the first smart card with strong cryptography. Uh, his ideas and these are still in use in passports and in uh, Visa and uh, MasterCard and credits. Uh, he, will he will speak about uh, 25 years of uh, blockchain and the continuing to improve it for uh, citizens. It's for you. No, maybe. Okay, uh, thank you very much for patience. Uh, so, why I am speaking about 25 years of blockchain is because in the crypto community, the beginning of the story was in 90. This, in fact, 26 years ago. I am speaking about cryptography and blockchain. No, it was not exactly the same as today, but so maybe for you, it will be good to know that, to be in confidence, it was for a long time in some heads. Okay, so it's my goal. So I will speak a little bit the public ledger, blockchain, uh, some surprise, uh, the bank Japan, and about security, my field, very short conclusion. So as you know, blockchain every, everywhere, and for instance, uh, at in the uni, uh, United States, uh, postal services are uh, thinking about that. Okay, and so coming back to something very well, post it, Maybe you don't know that, but there is no, no law about that in Belgium and in France. No law is working because we have the habit of that, but that nobody wa was sticking to put some rules about that. And there was no problem. So think about that. Maybe we do not do rules legal rules for blockchain, because there is no problem. Okay, so as you know, uh, there are public uh, It's not very secure. You don't know when to uh, uh, put something in it and remove it and, and so on. So maybe it's better to have more security. And in fact, is the ID of blockchain. That is a, a public list with dates. We are speaking about time stamping in French, or datage, etc. It's very old. Uh, here are some records uh, from uh, Creta a uh, long time ago in the moon, and today the stone is Cryptography. It is. Uh, people are thinking that, well, maybe we will remove uh, Central Bank so on, uh, less expensive and so on. Uh, I am not sure about it. So, the uh, thing about um, stamping is a trusted digital stamp, give you some between codes, like evidence that the contents of your work exist at some point in time. <coughs> and there is no change, and you do that today for the future. Okay, so is the ground of blockchain secure at time stamping? And in fact, in many uses, it's only that. 
you have to know that. Okay, so people did that long time ago with uh, digital money, I will not speak about that. The main uh, is to Haber from US, and in NT, uh, there was a new company, surti.com, and the goal is to do secure stamp stamping, and still exist. I was working with him, and we tried in Belgium the money of the Belgian government to improve it in '97 with Leuven, in fact, also. And uh, the project was M6, the security of the town. And we did that at the server at that time, nearly 20 years ago. Uh, yes. And so, I, I am coming back to uh, blockchain a little bit. So you, you have at the right uh, the ledger, and you, you have a lot of actors uh, around it. People, for instance, uh, users of Bitcoin, some network. But the main problem is that one. That list. And all the rules you need are to input, on to read, on to uh, broadcast, and or to secure in the town. No, this time to come back to the main paper with Bitcoin uh, from Satoshi Nakamoto. No, I have a question for you. Did you read the paper? How many people? people read it. It's coming a little bit more, but maybe 10% of the read it. You will be very surprised. It's very well written. You need only to read three pages of eight. The last pages are statistic, uh, probability, and forget it. Three pages. And uh, so it's very useful. And maybe you have to there are two versions of Bitcoin, the paper and the software. And you know only the software. And it is the same author. And in the paper, he said the the software, it's only an example to be improved. And there will be evolutions thanks to some problems, some accents, so on. So it's not the final solution for the author. Read it, it's in the text. Okay, so coming back. Uh, here, so you have a lot of nodes, and nodes as a copy of the blockchain. Theoretically, actually the same. No, it's not so easy. Uh, there are problems of uh, this and so on, and it is the goal. So there are two kinds of people, uh, the miners indeed, and they are in some way managing it. Uh, but there is uh, some kind of look to say, is you, is you, if, is, is you this time, uh, in 10 minutes will be maybe another one, we will see, and so on. And they are there for many reasons. So, if you read the paper of uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, here is the page two, uh, you have the explanation of how it works. Uh, you, you have here a lot, a lot of recaps. Uh, in general, uh, with Bitcoin or not, and they put that together when they are about uh, three thousand, and the name is a block. Do you know that that concept is very old? Maybe uh, twenty years ago, like this. And so you compute 
some information related to the block, and you put that in some black box, uh, some kind of black box, uh, a cryptic hash function. It, it will result uh, an impact. It is uh, some hash, very small quantities of the whole block, and it will be the input of the next uh, operation, uh, and in, in the case of uh, Bitcoin, about 10 minutes, and so on. So it's the beginning of the story, and you add, indeed, inside the temp stamp. So uh, Satoshi explained to do that. And read the rest of Uh, so, uh, the, the shiny is the, the operation of putting an ash, an ash, an ash, and the idea is to privilege uh, each value in some way. Uh, in NT, uh, Stuart Abbott published it in the New York Times. Uh, today we publish it on internet. Let's see my D. Okay. No, uh, you want to, to have uh, a chain, unique chain, and so there are some tricks to remove all the variations. Okay. No. The problem is adding the next block, and so computing and publishing hash. Uh, the people, you know, uh, Satoshi, maybe yes, maybe no, uh, use certain party, somebody, some group outside the system. I know today that it is really the new idea we want to have public and distributed network. Okay. Uh, I will not explain that because I don't have time and because other people do that. Uh, and here I have a story for you. In 2001, the Bank of Japan published a report that eight years before Bitcoin and Satoshi, and about tempting and trusted third party. Uh, and it was a nice report, a long report, uh, two authors. Here is the report. What? The security evaluation of time stamping schemes, present situation, and studies. And the main author in Machi Yoni. But there is, in fact, another one. Okay. And they compare seven systems in the world, including what we did in Belgium, TAMSEC, and it was put on the, the best uh, possible schemes. And there are three schemes, simple, trusted party, shared, and distributed. And distributed, we need that today, blockchain. The idea of blockchain was to be there. Uh, here text, so I, I, I inside, you see here, no need of trusted party because it is distributed. And it's written, so it's complicated because you need the people to uh, use here. Generating time stamping. Uh, okay, so you see that is there. That is blockchain. Uh, you see that um, Masachi is the first three letters of Satoshi, and Masumoto, the other author, is the four letters of. of uh, but okay, it's a joke. But that is true. Uh, uh, Masashi Union uh, uh, was working in the experimental economy 
epic, using cryptography linked to financial services, and so on. You can't put his CV on the web. And back to the paper. Here is, you remember, I say the reference two to five. Here is the reference two. In the big one paper. Yes, it's me. Uh, because we implemented and we invented the block of the blockchain in 97. Uh, the other paper uh, from Stuart Ever. And so, last thing, security. After that, I stop. Uh, the crypto community used in Bitcoin and blockchain were okay for the year 2005, the year of the publication. And Satoshi said it evolution. And the evolution is that if some uh, crypto primitives are broken, there are problems. So we need to, to see what is happening with uh, this primitive. And I, I don't have time. Here is the list. Uh, everything is very bad. You can steal uh, coins and change payment and, and so on, repudiate it and so on. And the bad, the bad news is here. Last year, in August, NIST, the standard uh, body in UN NSA announced that you have to be careful with cryptography because maybe uh, quantum computers are, are coming. Okay? And here is the list of change. So it's very technical. You will very, very fast understand the problem. The two Algorithms in use in Bitcoin are there for signature and hashing. And the bad news is that not, not, don't use it because it's not more secure. The announcement was in August last year. And so the two uh, for use in Bitcoin are, it's a pity, not the, the good one today. It was predicted by Satoshi. So we need to move, to improve, to continue, uh, and the story is not finished uh, at all. So my conclusion is my last slide. We need definitively better models. I mean, to be able to easily change the cryptographic primitive. And maybe there are all the solutions that we are doing, maybe to change also proof of work. I did, the spoke, did the speak about that. Uh, so the, the mining, uh, are, here you are, you are using proof of work by, by proof of computing, but there are other ways. For, for instance, the, that we have a lot of Memory. I, I have a terabyte somewhere, and a proof that I have that. There are protocols for that. And so think about that. So, uh, basic research, continuing, and my main, main point I think that we need to say, they say today, to citizen, and it is very difficult because you don't understand QP, it's very difficult to understand, but you, if you want really to trust system, you need not only to trust the critical people, but you need to understand. And so I think that is a pity, but Bitcoin, blockchain, is not only economics one, it's only it's also a little bit mathematics and info. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. There is time to questions. So.
uh, ask me uh, later. <laughs> Uh, yes. Any question? Maybe one, I, I have one, Jean-Jacques. Yes, yes, yes. Um, there was a, the, a recent crash, the crash of uh, Ethereum. Yes. Can, so it it's really shows the fragility of uh, one scheme. Can, can you say a word yes, about I, that? Yes, I can say something. In my long version of this talk, I was speaking about it. <laughs> Uh, no, the, the problem following one with uh, Ethereum and other things, there, 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 there are people thinking about other things like, like this, uh, using also uh, flexible uh, crypto to change a little bit sometimes uh, old the past. But the, now coming back to the smart contract, uh, I have to say that people using uh, that uh, kind of contract uh, f uh, by Ethereum needs to understand very well uh, Turing theory in computer science. Because today there is no tool for such problem. Uh, there was uh, an exam of the 1,500 contract uh, on Ethereum, and about 700 were wrong. It means that it was half, more or less. It, it means that half of the contract of Ethereum are possibly possible, possibly going wrong itself or by uh, some other operation is too much to, to trust. Why? Because there is the, the language is, is too open with no limit. And so when there is no limit, there are no limit for bad people also. It's life. Uh, well, so it, it, for me, uh, be careful, be careful. I am not, is, is bad, I am not saying, but I am saying that we, we need to put some limits, some uh, computer informatics limits. And people are not speaking about that. They are, they are saying, open, open. No. If you open the wall box, you are in the Turing theory, and in the Turing theory, you can write various malware impossibly to this is the problem. So, sorry for the answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs>